Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Irrational Exuberance. This book explains why economic bubbles primarily arise due to the collective irrationality of human beings. What is an economic bubble? It means that a certain kind of financial asset for example stock or real estate, which attracts many investors and drastically increases in price for a short time. The sharp rise in the prices of financial assets causes a lot of money to flow into a particular industry, leading to this industry's prosperity. This kind of prosperity is like a bubble in a bath. It seems that the market is prosperous, but actually, it is an illusion. When the market cools down and people withdraw their investments, the asset prices will collapse. The financial sector calls this false prosperity an economic bubble. The author of this book believes that the main reason for economic bubble formation is the collective irrationality of human beings, so he calls the economic bubble irrational exuberance. In 1996, Greenspan was chairman of the Federal Reserve Board. In a speech, he used the term irrational exuberance to describe the overheating phenomenon in the U.S. stock market at that time. Since then, the term has become widely known. Looking back, we can see that the U.S. stock market did overheat. In the last few years of the 20th century, the sense of novelty brought about by internet technology stimulated speculation in internet-related stocks. The Nasdaq index which represents internet technology stocks, more than tripled from around 1,400 points in 1998 to around 5,000 points in March 2000. Later the index plummeted and fell back down to 1,400 points in September 2001. The collapse of the stock market made it difficult for internet companies to raise funds thereafter. As a result, a large number of U.S. internet companies collapsed, and even the global internet industry was affected. This book was published just before the bursting of the dot-com bubble. Some people say that this book accurately predicted the bubble, while others say that this book is the needle that punctured it. The author of this book is Robert J. Schiller. He is a renowned professor of economics at Yale University. He won the 2013 Nobel Prize in Economics for his work on the empirical analysis of asset prices. He was vice chairman of the American Economic Association in 2005 and chairman of the Eastern Economic Association from 2006 to 2007. Professor Schiller specializes in financial economics and behavioral finance, which is an interdisciplinary subject of finance and psychology that attempts to reveal the irrational behaviors and decision-making laws in financial markets. The book Irrational Exuberance is generally regarded as a pioneering work of behavioral finance. In Professor Schiller's view, any financial phenomenon does not stem from one single factor. It is not as simple as a conditioned reflex such as when your lower leg kicks out after your knee is tapped. Instead, it is the result of a combination of many different factors. Behind any financial phenomenon, we can find a main factor and secondary factors, but we cannot easily find the causal relationship between these factors and the financial phenomenon. According to this idea, Professor Schiller categorized the precipitating factors of irrational exuberance into structural factors, cultural factors, and psychological factors. Firstly, Professor Shearer believes that irrational exuberance is influenced by structural factors such as political policies, industry development, population size, investor psychology, the growth of mutual funds, the expansion of the volume of trade and so on. It is also fueled by the amplification effect of the market. Secondly, from a cultural point of view, the news media and the zeitgeist play a significant role. Finally, from a psychological point of view, these various factors cannot affect the market unless human psychological factors are also involved. Next, we will explain the key points from this book in the following three parts. Part 1, Structural Factors Leading to Irrational Exuberance. Part 2, Cultural Factors Leading to Irrational Exuberance. Part 3, psychological factors leading to irrational exuberance. First, let's talk about structural factors. Professor Schiller studied the factors that led to the rise in global stock markets from 1982 to 2000, and the rise in real estate prices in many cities in the late 1990s.